Hello Taurus and welcome to your July general reading. Taurus, remember that these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. And if you need your own personal reading, my website is in the description box below. Uh, also remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So Taurus, what does July have in store for you? So let's get started. I'll pop these cards to one side. So the first card here that I have for you is the King of Swords and we have next the Six of Swords and then we have the Four of Swords. So next um, these are Oracle cards because you know I like working with um, Oracle cards as well. So let's have a look at this um, at these cards here to start off with before we start coloring in the reading with the Oracle cards. So the first card here that I have for you is the King of Swords. So I see that in July, you are really sort of like um, thinking about a situation that's going on at the moment because we see that our King of Swords is looking at this situation that's a little bit um, have you sort of like not really happy there's a situation that you want to resolve going forward so this could be a relationship that is not going the way you want and you are starting to think is this relationship worth it um should i carry on with this relationship what shall i do the king of swords is some someone who is very logical who is very um analytical so you are really taking that time to look at this situation logically and really think about um the situation what you want to do so i definitely see that you are definitely thinking about something so the king of swords also talks about um it's about fair judgment so the situation here whatever is going on you are going to be judging this situation very fairly which is really good um we can see that also with the king of swords you have authority over this situation so perhaps you're self-employed or you're an entrepreneur and someone is working for you and you're thinking mm, is this person really pulling their weight are they worth you know having as part of the team so you're really being fair because you are the person who is in position of authority and you can um you can make the decision whether to keep this person or fire this person also uh this could be a a friendship you are thinking to yourself is this friendship really worth it and you know so you are definitely putting some time in some mental uh, some mental time in right to really think about things to really see things through so uh with the king of swords also i really like the king of swords because he is all about um he is he's willing to take the challenge so whatever is going on here this situation you are looking at the situation and whatever you need to do you have the sword there you are willing to take um any appropriate action that needs to be taken you don't care about um challenges ahead you are willing to face things head on so taurus i know that you know you are the bull and you are you know you don't mind going straight ahead if you know you're seeing red you can just go and tackle that situation being a taurus that you are you are very fair you are very analytical and you are very um you're very good at putting order in place so let's have a look at the next card here which is the six of swords so taurus i would like to know what is on your mind comment on the comment section below and see what you are thinking about what situation does this represent in your life because like i said these readings are general so i can only color in so much but you are then responsible is responsible for taking this information and slotting in where it fits into your life so we see that here you are the king of swords you are feeling good in this position you are in position of authority over this situation that's going on so this could be again maybe this is work you are feeling like you know i could get paid more money i want more money so i am gonna go and you know start applying for a job the only thing with the six of swords i would say even though this is something that represents your passion because we see that our girl there she is wearing a red scarf so the red color red is about 
passion is about those things that are important to us so you could be leaving a relationship you could be leaving a job you could be leaving something that you know you really put your heart and soul into but being the king of sword you have taken the time to really look at the situation think this situation through and you are thinking that this situation no longer serves me so i am gonna go ahead and make plans to you know to leave and go somewhere else again what i would like to point out with the six of swords is that this journey that you're going to be taking uh, just be prepared because it's not going to be plain sailing it's not going to be smooth because we can see here in the water there is turbulence and you know um the six of swords also says to you that leave behind anything that no longer serves you don't um don't take any rubbish that doesn't really serve your life anymore so perhaps you are live you're moving home so any rubbish any clothes that you don't wear anymore you've been hanging on to these clothes for years because you're thinking that oh when i lose weight i'm gonna be fitting in these clothes but the six of swords is coming to say hey you know what you can always buy new clothes don't hang on to um uh, to all this old stuff that don't you don't really need anymore I love the six of swords for the fact that it indicates that people are going to be willing to help you because as we see in our card we have three crows here who are helping uh, to pull along this boat right so the girl has help she is not all by herself so this card is indicating to me that the situation that you have going on here you are going to actually have people who are willing to help you you're going to have uh, maybe friends or family who are willing to to help you move if this is a move or if you're wanting a promotion or if you're moving on to a different job you are actually gonna have a helping hand so a friend or an old colleague could come and say to you hey my company is uh, is recruiting uh, I know that you're gonna be perfect for this job so why don't you come along and then maybe you're looking at this position and you're thinking mm, I'm not really qualified enough for that position but you're willing to take things in your own hands so maybe you could quickly do an online course to really just brush up on any skills that you need to brush up on so like I said there is some effort that's gonna be involved there is some effort that's going to be required from you so uh, be willing to put in that effort so now let's move on to our next card and our next card here is the uh, four of swords so the four of swords to me is indicating again we have passion these cards have similar coloring to them so again we've got that passionate uh, energy we've got something that is very close and dear to your heart so again this could be a relationship that you're moving on from or a relationship that you're just putting on hold for a while you are just saying to your partner or the person you're dating at the moment that hey i don't know where i am at the moment i don't know if i want to be in a in a you know sort of like a long-term relationship let me just have some time to be alone so we could see you taking some time out from a relationship from a job from you know you know your situation you can comment in the comment section what are you taking time away from so you're taking this time away from just to be alone just to think things through and to see where you want to go on with your life what direction you want your life to take in so what direction you want your life to go in so the four of swords is just uh reminding you that yes you're you know you're brilliant for really thinking things through for putting in the plans uh, ahead of time and then not caring that this um, this path that you're going to be taking you don't care that this path is going to be um, requiring you to really put in a lot of effort because once you get where you're going we see you resting just taking that time out to be by yourself and to you know maybe mend a broken heart so the four of swords is also indicating that you're going to be having the, that restful period so uh, as we are in july at the moment this could indicate that maybe you are then going on a holiday or maybe you are just planning a holiday to go on just to have that me time just to have that time to rejuvenate that time to heal so just that time you know to retreat from the world for a little while so next we have some oracle cards here and the first oracle card that i have is saying to you that uh, prosperity lies ahead and i like this so with this card here that we have the six of swords again the coloring is very similar and the good thing is that again don't be afraid because prosperity is ahead so i am gonna go quickly change okay battery changed 
so like i was saying uh this card here is coming to say that prosperity lies ahead so don't be afraid of whatever it is that you have to face um before this situation is resolved so the next card here that i have for you is this one it's uh angels and ancestors oracle cards and we have the druid here and i like the druid because he is asking you to hold the space and this is card is perfect because it goes along with the four of swords again you are just holding space here you are just taking this time to heal you are not in a rush to go anywhere you are taking this time to mend maybe your broken heart and you are just holding space because sometimes when we leave situations uh, we are in a rush to go into our new life to go into the next uh, phase or the next cycle of our life but the druid here is just coming and saying hey remember to take that time to uh, to heal yourself remember just to hold the space that you need don't let anyone push you to be in a rush to uh, to be out there again maybe dating or out there doing you know fill in the blanks where whatever is going on in your life at the moment so the next cards that we have here is the um these are the goddess cards and i love these cards because we've got athena here and athena is the goddess of inner wisdom so the message she has for you is uh you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay and again i like this card because you definitely know what to do because you are the king of swords right so you definitely know how to do you what to do you have thought about this situation you have thought about what you want your future to look like you have thought about everything and then you have put in the plans in place to go ahead and move in to your new situation and your inner wisdom is what is guiding you so i definitely love seeing that uh, the king of swords is there and also the six of swords um, is showing that you are not afraid to take action even though this action might be a little bit difficult to start off with because you have that inner wisdom you have that inner faith to know that you know at the end of this um, journey when everything is all said and done this is something that you're going to look back on and be really happy to see that you saw um, this dream all the way through to the end so don't be afraid uh, keep going ahead we see that here even with the inner wisdom we uh, we see that Athena is got an owl there so owls always represent that wisdom and then finally to close off this reading we just have some positive messages for you and this card here is just saying that you know your mantra of the month is going to be I am the dreamer of my dream and again, we definitely see that you are the dreamer of your dream and you are also the creator of your reality. So you are not just dreaming, you are also um, brave enough to take your sword and go out there and fight the battle, right? To create the life that you want, to create the situations and the opportunities that you want to see in your life. We see that you are definitely are not afraid to go and do whatever is necessary to uh, to change your, your circumstances at the moment and to change your life going forward. So this is the next card that I have there for you. So Taurus, you have a journey ahead of you and you know, like I said, this journey might be a little bit turbulent at times, but remember to take that time out that you're going to need to rest up and just to really rejuvenate and recover from, you know, this long journey that you're going to be going through in the future. So Taurus, like I say, I all I do personal readings. So if you need me to look at your own personal reading, my website is in the description box below. Just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to work with you. And on that note, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like and comment and also uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and on that note Taurus I'm gonna love you and leave you and that's bye from me